Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be starting our tutorial series on how to create a Super Crate Box inspired game. So as you can see here, this is a little game I whipped up in a couple of hours, and it's basically a demonstration of the game that we will be creating. Now there's no death impl impl uh, implementation on my part yet, however the enemies can die from enemies as you can see from bullets actually. And our player can move around, there's a dynamic weapon system, as you can see there's a crate there which you can see contain different weapons and of course enemies that jump in the pit of fire which isn't fire at the moment but I will add fire um, they will get aggro I'll, sh I'll give you a little demonstration here so you can see they're gonna go in there and if you look up they come out faster and red alright so without further ado let's get started on this tutorial so as you can see on my left, I've got a bunch of sprites, and you will need to get your hands on some of these sprites. So the first sprite that you need is a crate sprite. Then you'll need a solid sprite. Now all of my sprites are generally 32 by 32. Actually not all of them. The crate is 24 by 24 just because I want to make it smaller. And the player is a 48 by 48. So you'll need an idle sprite, which is centered Oops, not centered actually. As long as it's in the middle of your player, it's fine. The walk sprite, make sure it's in the middle of your player. And you will need two enemies, a big enemy as well as a small enemy. We might be implementing more enemies in the future, but for now, we're just going to stick to the two basic ones. And of course, the rage, um, the rage variants. Now, of course, the origin has to be in the center. The bullet, origin in the center, and three weapons. Uh, maybe not three. It's up to you how many weapons you want in your game, but for now, we're going to start off with three. In the future, I'll be adding other weapons, such as like the bazooka, um, the disc gun, all of which, which have um, different functionalities. Now, I also have a background here, and this background is actually my level. Now, it's 640 by 480. You can design this on Photoshop. It's not that hard. Um, you know, draw some up. Cool. Click OK. Now, there is, however, a, another way of doing this without designing a whole um, background. So, let's create a new room and call this RM1 with a width of 640 by 480. And um, the background... The background zero is just a color. Um, let's make this color a nice blue. And background one is actually the level. Let's make this a little more bright now, actually. Cool. Now, in uh, what we're gonna be basically doing is making an object collision, which is called O solid. And we're going to be placing it all over the places where we need to collide. Now, if we don't want to do this, you can just get rid of the background and just actually place blocks down. So let's create a new object. Um, and call this O-Solid. The sprite of the solid. Now, this has a, opac a lower opacity. And turn the visibility to zero. To, to, um, zero objects like O solid and now what you want to do is um, turn on the grid and the snap X make it 8 snap Y 8 and the reason why we can do this is because we want to be very accurate in our positioning now let's say you put something down here right and we can stretch all the way to the end now that works pretty pretty well now you can see it's a little bit off now of course you don't have to be totally accurate Especially my game is a hand-drawn design, which is basically not measured. Um, I can t uh, I can ho hold here, and it snaps. So I can't if I, if I do this, it goes a bit too far. If I do this, it's too short. So how do I get it to the center? You hold out and just drag, and you can see here it's a free scale. Like there's no snap anymore. So that's a little tip that you can use. So do this for your whole thing, for your um, whole game. And I'll be back when I'm finished. 
All right, guys. So we're back here. As you can see here, I've completed all the collisions. And now let's start programming the player. So create a new object called O player. And in the create event, we're gonna start by defining a few variables. All right. And the variables are pretty basic. Int vars, and we're gonna gravity. So our player is gonna have some gravity. And you can see that we are not using Game Maker's default gravity or H speed. The reason why, because if we do so, we are limited to Game Maker's um, style of creating these style, sort of variables. So we are going to be doing it manually, which gives us more freedom. Speed variable, which is 11. J speed, which is 16. Of course, you guys can change these variables according to your game and preference. H speed and V speed. Both equal to zero, as well as no, um, change underscore whip equal false, and the image speed. Put that at point three. Now change whip will be activated when we pick up crates, and of course make your sprite sprite s play right. All right, uh, I'm gonna be stopping the video now. It's just so that this video won't be like 20 minutes long or something. And we'll f continue the um, movement in the next tutorial. Peace out, guys.